Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It has been quite a while, yet I have been here. I have not moved from my purple chair or my wonderful British library, sitting here and wondering what entry shall I put next into the Cat Daddy Dictionary. Today, we will be exploring a word that many have sought my expertise on, and so I found myself most obliged to come and speak upon this subject. And the word today is fantastical. It is ferocious. It is floof. Well, I cannot wait myself to crack the binding on the Cat Daddy Dictionary and find out. Floof, the purest form of fluff. And that's it. The fluffiest. The it is the shortest definition that I believe I've ever come across, but it can be used as a noun. Floof, a fluffy cat. Uh, an adjective, the floofiest. To be used in a sentence, Wilbur is both fascinated and fixated by his floofiness. Hmm. Pretty straightforward, but on a deeper level, what is floof? It is not just a physical, manifestation. It is an inner state of being. Floofs have inspired many fan forums across the universe. In fact, it may be said that the internet was discovered just for floofs. Ah yes, I forgot the plural. Oh, <clears throat> floofs. This all makes me a floof sleuth. Sleuthing floofs. <laughs> Here we have the statuesque floof. Note the incredibly long floofy ear floofs on Xena. Princess Warrior uh, submitted by Shayna. Thank you, Shayna. Next, this is the innocent floof. Name, Mama Floof, of course. Theo is a handful of floofiness, and he knows it. Eugene demonstrates the upside down sea otter come hither floof. Ah, Callie, lazing in the sun, baking her little tummy floofs. Leia the floof and her friend, a human boy, who she is alternately amused and not amused by. And we have a, a whole host of sea otter floofs. This one named Toby, who has no idea how he wound up on his back. Now, if you'd like to see a dynamic between the floof and the non-floof, take for instance, Sumo and his friend, Baby Stewie. Floof. <laughs> Sumo is clearly the FIC. Floof in charge. I would love to recite some floofy poetry. <clears throat> An ode to Odin. Oh, Odin. <laughs> the floofiest of floofasteins. How I love thee in the sink. How I love thee on the counter. No matter where your floof resides, my heart is there with you. It's a work in progress, but you get the point. I love me some floofiness. Okay. Now this is interesting because there is a floofy cat and a more floofy tail. So are they two floofs for the price of one? That's Willow, Willow the hyper floof, floofy squared. Now, let's get serious. But I know why you came here. I can see you writing in the comments below, which I encourage you to do, but please don't be too mean. Oh, Mr. Dictionary Man, I just came here for knowledge and you're being stupid. Well, be that as it may, now is the time for some fun floofy facts. Now, I know you think that I'm just an entertainer, a coarse clown, but I am not. I'm a man of many talents, not just a conduit of cat facts. That said, I know you've come here for facts. I have fun facts. For instance, did you know that over 25% of a floofy body could be fluff. It's a fact! Now I feel like I am above my pay grade and I will turn the floor over to someone who is less fun, but 
more factually up to snuff. Here we go. You know, I kind of resent the fact that I'm seen in this scenario alone as being sort of a brainiac and not a fun guy. I actually am very fun. I am a font, font of, of floof, floof fun. fun. Let me prove that fact to you before I get into all of the factual stuff behind floofiness, which really, when you pair the word floofy in fact, it makes me sound like a fraud, a feline fraud. <laughs> <laughs> Floof fact number one. Did you know that the average cat will consume about six ounces or the weight of about 30 quarters of fluff per year? That's not unique to floofs. All cats will consume that amount of fur. To that end, did you know that the proper word for hairball is trichobezoar? Did I pronounce that right? Not the brainiac he thought I was. And speaking of trichobeziar or hairballs, the largest hairball ever removed from a cat weighed 7.5 ounces and was five inches wide. That's a lot of bezoar. And uh, that came from a cat named Gemma in the United Kingdom. And we can say without doubt, if that much floof was removed from the inside, then Gemma was quite the floofiest on the outside. Now we've had a lot of floofy fun right now, but I think it's time to go into the floofy facts. What makes a floof? Well, of course that is slightly subjective, but when you think about floof, you think about long-haired cats. Long-haired cats, I mean, all cats have different types of fur, but it all depends on how much of it there is per cat. So for instance, uh, we have the guard hairs, which are the outer hairs, also called primary hairs. They are coarse and straight and they taper to a fine tip to insulate a cat's body and protect the skin and assist their sense of touch. They're almost like little whiskers. Medium sized on hairs come below that. They also insulate and protect a cat's body, yet they're thinner than the guard hairs. And then the secondary hairs are those located in the undercoat. These crimped or rippled appearing hairs are the thinnest in a cat's coat. They also help regulate body temperature and prevent too much loss of body heat. But altogether, these three layers of floofy hair help to regulate body temperature, keep the elements like cold and water away, and make for a happy floof. Now, some practical advice if you do have a floof in your life, like all of the floofs that we uh, featured today. It was a floofy feature. And by the way, if you'd like to feature your floof in future floofy features, just send it right here, jacksongalaxy.com forward slash submit. We'd love to see some videos too. We got lots of pictures, but I'd love to see some floofy videos. And you would just check the box that says, what? Floof and upload that wonderfulness uh, right there. Now, anybody who has a very floofy cat knows that those floofs can manifest mats very quickly if you don't brush their hair a lot. And even getting rid of those mats at that point is very tricky because their skin is like tissue paper. So by just walking, they can rip their skin. Am I scaring you enough? Brush your floof all the time. Not only are you ridding them of the dead hair, but also stimulating their skin to make more oils, which makes their floof floof, even more sheeny and wonderful. You know, one thing that's talked about a lot and uh, is very divisive, which is actually really fascinating, is the concept of the lion cut. So if you don't know what that is, the lion cut is that uh, you take your floof to the groomer and they basically shave them down, usually leaving a little poof at the tail and, and leaving their head completely intact in terms of their fur. And people get really like they see this as being torture for the cats and really an irresponsible thing to do. Let's clear some of this up. First of all, does it make them cooler in the summer? Not necessarily because one of the wonderful things about the makeup of a floofy body is that all those different layers of hair actually help to make them cooler. Not only does that floofy fur keep them warm in winter, it does keep them cool in summer as well. So that's not necessary to shave them down just because you want them to be cooler. But some cats just don't like all that floofiness around the summertime or they don't like it period or they just, they're just happier not being so damned floofy. And in that case, if uh, you want to have them groomed, go for it. We personally had our own big floofy 
ball of floof named Pichy, and uh, Pichy liked his his line cut. He really did. He'd walk around, you know, especially with, in his older age. My God, no one's going to ever watch or listen to this. This is like, I'm, why am I doing this? Just to talk about Pichy, who we loved very much, but he did like being uh, defloofed uh, a, a lot of times. He moved with a lot more ease, especially in his older age. What was the name of your floofy Persian? Simon. Simon the Floofy Persian, who uh, we just found out also likes his lion cut. Well, that was just a fast and furious and floofy adventure into the world of the floofs. Like I said, I not only would love to see videos and pictures of your floofs, send them right here, but also I would love to see you suggest topics for Cat Daddy Dictionary or any other video. And for that, you put it right down in the comments below and I am telling you, I look at those comments. I read those comments. I don't like typing all that much, so sometimes I don't do that, but I absolutely do read those comments. And I we're running out of dictionary here, so please, folks, help us. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And not only subscribe, leave us a thumbs up. These are all things that make my week just floof and fabulous. And uh, until the next time I talk to you, I'm going to go take a nap because I really do need one. This topic, for some reason, exhausted me. So don't forget, put your best flu forward and have a fantabulous, wonderful week. We'll see you next time. Light, love, and mojo. Welcome back, my friends, to a... Friends? I have become Romanian. Read it? I read it? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> what am I... Seven point ounces of funny. <laughs> Is Jackson still sober? That's really, I think, what everyone's wondering.